What's up guys? My name is Zap and today I'm going to be showing you how to counter the balloon as well as some of the other combos that come with it. The balloon itself is counterable by many cards, but if the balloon is left alone it can do massive amount of damage and can easily leave the tower close to death. That's because it has the highest damaging single attack of any troop in the game. But obviously with that much damage there has to be a downside. The really slow 3 second attack speed. Almost any ranged troop can take it out. One of the most solid counters being the Musketeer with its high single target damage. The Wizard is also a good counter. It has relatively high single target damage, as well as the ability of being able to take out any other assisting minions. The Minion Horde is the fastest counter to the Balloon, killing the Balloon before the opponent can even react with arrows. The only problem with it is, if they get preemptively arrowed after your opponent learns your strategy or even if they have some sort of splash unit. The minions are the best counter to the balloon for only 3 elixir. Not only does it kill it insanely fast, but your opponent is less inclined to use arrows on your minions as opposed to a minion horde. Spear goblins work as well, but they should always be your last resort, as they can be simply zapped and can allow the balloon to get to the tower if there isn't enough DPS. Buildings work really well against it as well. The Inferno Tower can kill the Balloon extremely fast. The Tesla can hit flying troops. It can easily take out the Balloon for less elixir than the Inferno. Buildings in general can take out the Balloon with the right placement. Placing it two tiles to the right and two tiles up from the opposite lane ensures the Balloon gets hit by both towers, without any building having to actually attack it. The Cannon is a prime example. Most people like to run this card because of how effective it is for the elixir cost. Even though it can attack the balloon, it poses as a distraction which allows the tower to easily take it out. Same works with almost all buildings including elixir collectors. As you have seen, balloons themselves are easy to counter. What happens if the balloon is accompanied by something like a giant? With the giant in front of the balloon, taking out the strategy becomes more difficult because of the giant absorbing the damage for the balloon so it can reach the tower. The balloon and giant strategy forces the opponent to use a more versatile approach. Because of the fact that a high HP ground unit and a flying unit have to be taken care of. Inferno Tower is the absolute best counter to the balloon and giant strategy. Placement is the key to beating the strategy effectively. If you place the Inferno two tiles to the right and two tiles up from the opposite lane, it can take out the giant and the balloon by killing the giant once it reaches the tower and allowing both towers to hit the balloon to ensure it gets destroyed. Precise placement is necessary. If you place it below the effective spot, you will only lower the giant, and the balloon will continue to head to the tower, and it will take too long to kill the balloon, allowing you to get a few massive hits off. Having a freeze handy is good against this strategy. Even if you misplace the inferno, and both the giant and the balloon are in aggro range, Freezing them allows the Inferno to get max damage on the Giant and can easily then finish off the Balloon and still give you a 1 Elixir advantage. Even a Zap works if you misplace the Inferno Tower, but precise timing needs to be met. Using it to stop the 3 second attack chain of the Balloon or even stopping the Giant and the Balloon in its track before it's about to hit the Inferno Tower gives the Inferno Tower enough time to finish it off. The cannon itself is really bad against the balloon and the giant, but a company with other troops can actually bring positive elixir traits. In this example I use fire spirits and minions. By using the cannon to lure the giant and the balloon, I then use the fire spirits to get instant burst off and allow the minions to get high DPS. It can also be countered with the wizard and cannon combo. Placing the cannon in the proper spot then using the wizard from the side of the bridge to hit both the giant and the balloon ensures that they both get whittled down. This strategy revolves around using the cannon to lure and allow the wizard to splash both the giant and the balloon. In this replay my opponent is using a Lava Hound Balloon Push. For the strategy, having a splash or AoE spell along with Inferno is the best way to take care of it. By pulling the Lava Hound with the Inferno, then once it dies kill the Lava Pups with splash or AoE, then use any troops to kill the leftover balloon, ensures that the strategy is taken care of. Thanks for watching. If you like the guide, subscribe and leave a like. If you want more, leave a comment below on what you guys want to see next.